Hey guys, what is up? So I think I've done enough procrastinating and I need to start editing this episode. So first off, I just wanna say hi, how are you? Wow, my voice is cracked. The footage you're about to see is some old, old footage from me in college. And wow, my voice is cracking, hold on. <laughs> All right guys, I, uh, that's so much better. Okay, so hey, so yeah, so the footage you're about to see is me back in college. And I want to say thanks to Frank Ireland. Not for just, not for just getting that footage, but for this as well. <laughs> Frank, you're, you're the man, Frank. But very seriously though, Frank, you're the man. Thank you so much. And action. Welcome to the new Frank and Friends. Uh, we've come up with a new name for that one. Uh, he will hereby be referred to as, what, what did we come up with? Sean. P. Diddy Clouser over there. Well, I'm in a league where you can start three quarterbacks. So I've been shaved for a month, man. The spirit's coming in real good. Joe Flacco's on the Are you recording? Are y'all ready? <gasps> yeah. Alright. Quiet on top. Alright. Rolling. I want to say hello to all the fans out there. I hope it grows more. Hey guys, what is up? So, uh, welcome. Hi, how are you? Uh, so I'm like running really late. I have an appointment to go get some new tires for my car so I can do some more adventuring. Um, but yeah, I'm running really late. Hey guys, what is up? It is a new week of the vlog, episode 62. If you are not familiar with me, I am John Clouser. Welcome, how are you guys? So I'm over here at Discount Tires right now because I had to get new tires for my car because, you know, I burn rubber, you know, I'm, I'm just a speed demon. But really I had to get tires because they're just old and about a month ago there was a uh, flood uh, and I hit a log and it just shattered one of my tires. I have about 45 minutes to kill and so yeah. And one thing, if you see any fluffies on the top of the screen right here. Um, it's because I have a dead cat on and I've been rolling it trying to get it to fit my microphone hopefully it fits and is windy and hopefully it all sounds fine but let's get to it I'm about to I'm completely exposed now good morning guys what is up it is Saturday and we are on the road, and I'm in Pattonsburg, Missouri. It's about an hour and 30 minutes outside of Kansas City. I'm on my way to Waterloo, Iowa, and you might be wondering, John, where's that? It's in Iowa, but it's actually on the other side, so if you know where Davenport is, it's like up by Davenport, it's close to like Cedar Rapids area. It's about, I would say about 40 minutes from there. Uh, and the reason why we're going there is because there is an abandoned, um, abandoned Greyhound uh, racetrack and I thought it'd be cool to go and check it out Hey guys, what is up? So I'm about 20 minutes outside of Des Moines, Iowa right now Filling up and then I'll have about another hour and 10 to hour and 15 minutes until I get to the location and Yeah, it's been pretty chill. Uh, I've taken a lot more breaks this time. I'm kind of jittering. I I've been taking a lot of caffeine, so, but. Hey guys, what is up? So, we made it. Uh, four and a half hours later, we are here. Uh, the place is literally right there. The building's right there. Uh, so, I won't be able to go inside because there are signs, literally, marked every 10 feet uh, don't trespass 
and so I won't be able to go in there at all. It's not really the law that I'm worried about, it's more or less of people being in there or people who own the property shooting me. That's really more what I'm worried about because I live in the Midwest. I spent some time looking at places and I'm going to start in downtown Waterloo or Waterloo, I think it's Waterloo, and we'll go from there. All right. Hey guys, what is up? So I am here in downtown Waterloo, Iowa. Uh, gonna explore, gonna see what's up. Uh, I parked my car and I got two hours and so we're gonna see. Hi guys, so I thought I'd tell you a little history about uh, Waterloo, Iowa. It was founded in 1845 on this eastern bank of the Red Cedar River. Now how the city of Waterloo got its name is because of this guy right here. His name was Charles Mullen. Now the original town's name was Prairie Rapids Crossing based upon the fact that it was on a river. But uh, Charles wanted to change it because uh, basically he was looking through a book and he found that name and he liked it better. Oh yeah, and there was a post office that he wanted to put in town too. While I'm in Waterloo, I thought I'd show you guys some interesting facts about it. So this is the first one. This is the Wrestling Hall of Fame. And what's so funny about it, it's right next to a strip club. Now the city of Waterloo actually went through a recession through like between like 1978 and 1982 because most of the main source of the job was agricultural work and meat packaging. And companies were here and then they left, so jobs went with them. Something you probably didn't know unless you Googled it like I did. Uh, Julie Adams, the actress who was in the movie The Creature from the Black Lagoon, was actually born in Waterloo. Uh, I wonder if she got it because she's from a town that has water in the name. Now, what might be the coolest thing about Waterloo is that it's the birthplace of John Deere Tractor. So I am here at this John Deere Museum. Uh, it's the place where they started making tractors, I guess. I, I'm not really for sure. I was awkward and so they made them awkward when answering my awkward questions. Um, so I'm just gonna walk around this place and then, yeah. It was free and it's cool and I don't know. Um, yeah. So I found out what this place was. It's what literally the factory where they started making John Deere tractors. Now, I don't know what's worse, the fact that uh, I couldn't figure that out or the fact that it really does smell like a tractor in here. Now this tractor right here, the John Deere 4010, I know it doesn't mean anything to me either. It's like the Rolls Royce of tractors. Now, this bad boy right here is the Lands Bulldog. Now, if I was going to get a tractor, and I'm not saying I'm not, I think this is going to be the one I'll get. I'm pretty sure this will be the one I get. Okay, now, just for the record, I know I'm spouting off all this information about all this tractor stuff like I know it and I grew up with it but none of this stuff means anything to me I just think I, I, I drove four and a half hours and I needed to have some kind of content and make it feel like I, it was worth the drive so I'm here at a tractor engineering museum now this next one I'm about to show you it's either the most awesome thing you ever see or it's something that Santa Claus would have had if he was a farmer so this is the all-wheel tractor it's the only tractor to use all wheels I guess to turn the vines and stuff I don't know it's a tractor and it's a tractor well we did it guys we, w we went through it we learned some tractor stuff um, 
I taught you some tractor stuff. I taught you all the knowledge I know about tractors because uh, I'm kind of an expert at it. So I think this is where I'm going to end today. I'm going to start heading back to Kansas City because if I leave now, I get home about 9.30 instead of about like 12.30 if I wait any longer. <laughs> Alright guys, so I think this is where I'm going to end this week's vlog, so like, comment, and subscribe if you've gotten this far. Thank you so much. And uh, all my stuff's in the description below, so my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So we'll follow all that stuff, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye! You know they're opening Windows stores? What? Why? They look exactly like Apple stores. And they have the we Windows the logo in the front. Wow, I should make my own store. Store. The Clouser store. The Clouser store. Like all it is is just like a rip off of both of them. It's so it's a window with an apple sitting on the ledge. <laughs>